Right, so it's day one of trekking the Arctic Circle Trail here in Greenland. I've been walking for about 30 minutes, so I've only just got out of town really, starting to gain a bit of height. The weather is pretty much perfect for walking. Looking forward to it. According to my guidebook, those two rocks were painted by a pair of American servicemen who thought they resembled women's breasts. And you've got to wonder if those two servicemen have ever seen a woman naked. I have finally made it to the start of the Arctic Circle Trail. This cairn and trail marker is the official start of the Arctic Circle Trail. Uh, I have to say the 17 kilometres of marching along the roadside hasn't been the most inspiring day's trekking ever. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to get a lot better. Two on the Arctic Circle Trail. I had a good night's sleep last night, possibly even a little bit too good because I'm a bit late getting started today. Uh, it's cooler today, which is nice. And because I've eaten some food, my backpack's getting lighter already. Now, as you can probably tell, my plans have changed somewhat. Uh, there are canoes available at the last hut, and so you're, you're allowed to use them as long as you take them all the way to Canoe Centre down the lake, so I thought I'd make use of that. So I'm back on the lake again, just uh, stealing a couple more kilometres. At the end of the lake there's a canoe rack which I'm on the lookout for. It really is a beautiful way to get around. Absolutely love it. I spent my first night in a hut last night because uh, the wind was pretty 
strong and so I didn't want to put the tent up. Um, it was pretty cosy I have to say and it did make life a bit easier in the morning not having to uh, take my tent down. Uh, I'm back on the trail, the cloud has rolled in overnight but the wind has dropped and where I'm heading there are blue skies so here's to another day on the trail. There was always a point on this trek when I was going to have to cross a river and there's only one way to do it, time to get the feet wet. Well that was bracing, <laughs> um, I got across fine, the river is slightly higher as it's mid-July, if you come about a month later then uh, the river might be below knee height. Um, it was just above knee height today, so my trousers got a little bit wet, but they're dry out pretty soon. All good fun. six of the Arctic Circle Trail uh, and last night the wind did drop but the clouds rolled in as you can see however where I'm heading certainly looks a bit brighter. trying to trek around this lake but I'm making absolutely no progress. I have to keep stopping every 20 meters to take pictures. It is just startlingly beautiful. Uh, one drawback with it being so still and no wind is that the flies are out in force. Hence I have to wear this rather dashing mosquito now. problem. There appears to be a fire in the valley through there. I've just met another hiker who said that it's impossible to get through there. There's smoke all through there. It's come through into this valley into here. Anyway, we can't stay in here so we're hiking up out of the valley into, over a mountain to see to get away from here because it's too smoky down here. We've climbed out of the valley. Uh, down below you can barely see the river where we were before. 